And great are you, Lord. And great are you, Lord. 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 Ha ha ha. Re ri ra ra ra. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. And great are you, Lord. Precious Jesus. And great are you, Lord. We love and praise you. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Tell him how great he is. Great are you, Lord. She, she, she. Sula baba shendere bebe shete. Great are you Lord. and great are you Lord great are you my Jesus this is the sweetest name I know, <clears throat> and it's just, it's just the same. Oh, bless his holy name, that's the reason. And let that's the reason why I love him so. Shararea for Jesus, he is the sweetest name I know, my Jesus. Yes, my Jesus, he is the sweetest name I know. God is healing someone right now with a feet problem. And, oh, he's just, he's just the same. Oh, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Oh, that, that surely is the reason why I love, I love him so. Precious Jesus, there's someone you are watching me right now. And I can see that you are laying with your child in front of you. Hallelujah. My Jesus is, is the sweet. Just make my know. I want to say it again. There's someone you're watching me. He's the sweetest. Your child is laying in front of you. Oh, he's the sweetest name we know. And then Jesus is just. He's just the same. If it's you, please comment so I can see you. And if you're watching this Kellum, then I don't know. <laughs> Press his holy name. We praise your holy name. Oh, then that's the reason why I love. 
I love him so. I don't know who loves the Lord Jesus, all right? For Jesus is, he is the sweet, sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. And oh, how I love Jesus. And oh, how I love Jesus. So. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loves me. Hallelujah. Let's sing it all. Oh, how, how I love Jesus. Let's say, oh, how, how I love Jesus. Oh. Oh, oh, how, how I love Jesus, because He first loves me. And oh, oh, how I love Jesus, how I love my Jesus, oh. How I love Jesus, oh, how, how I love my Jesus, because he, he first loves me. I sing praises to your name. Shara ba 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 she. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Let's praise the Lord. Let's worship Him. Oh Lord, for your name, for your name, He is great. And greatly to be praised. Yes, 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 sing it to the Lord. I sing praises to your name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Let's praise the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, I'm seeing someone's foot that are paining. It's getting healed right now. For your name he is great. Ear pain is going and greatly to be praised. For you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord. You deserve the honor, Lord. Lord, I love, Lord, I lift my hands in worship. Oh, that's a, that's a, the power of God is filling your house right now. And I bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and all the honor and all the honor. Lord, I loved, Lord, I loved my hands. Yes, 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 God is busy blessing someone. And I bless your holy name. For you are great. And you do miracles so great. And there is no one else like you. And there is no one else like you, for you are great. Oh yes, you do miracles, 
این مانیکا سوبرید سخی خپرستیان دارو با 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 Blessed there is no one else. Oh, rabba, 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 for you are great. Oh, yes, Lord, you do miracles so great. And there is no one, no one like you. There's someone at the shoulder pain. He's getting healed right now, right now. There is no one else. Like you, for you are great. Hallelujah. And there is no one else. Oh, ba 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 ba. Shh 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 shh. Oh, there is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great And there is no one, no one else like you Precious Lord there's someone you're watching me right now and as I'm playing the song your tears is running I want to tell you that Jesus is with you hallelujah there is no one else no one like you God for you are great and you do miracles so great and there is no one, no one like you. Precious God. And there is no one like you. Hallelujah. For you deserve the glory. Father, you deserve the glory. Hands of the honor. And it is of the honor, Lord, I lift my hands in worship. And I bless your holy name, for you deserve the glory. Tell him he deserves the glory and all the honor. You deserve the honor, Lord, Lord, I lift my hands in worship. And I bless your holy name, for you are great, and you do miracles so great. No one than you, there is no one else like you. And there is no one else like you, for you are great. Saprasi, you do miracles so great. Precious Jesus, then there is no one, no one else like you. And there is no one else like you. For you are great. Oh yes, you do miracles so great. Oh yes, and there is no one, no one else like you. And there is no one else like you. For you are great. Rapastea, pastea. And there is no one, no one like you, Lord. And there is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Go 
somebody showing me someone you're watching me you have a stomach pain pain in your stomach i am seeing you throwing up right now because that evil spirit in your stomach is leaving you in the name of jesus there is no one else like you and there is no one else like you for you are great and you don't really call so great thank you jesus and there is no one else like you and there is no one else like you god is showing me there's someone watching me and you are throwing up and you're going to throw up a snake Please send us a picture and let me know, all right? Send us a picture and let us know, all right? No one else like you. And there is no one else like you. And holy, holy, holy are you. And holy, holy, holy are you, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, the elders and angels bow, and the redeemed, they worship you now, and holy, Holy, holy are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we cry, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Sweet, sweet Jesus. And holy, oh, holy, holy precious God I'm seeing someone's finger that is hurt I pray for healing over your finger right now in the name of Jesus the elders and angels bow and the redeemed they worship you now holy 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 are you Lord Surely, surely the presence, surely the presence of the Lord, it's in this place. Oh, I can feel His mighty power <clears throat> and His grace. I can hear the rush of angel wings, oh I can hear, I can hear the rush of angel wings, they sing glory on his face, oh surely the presence of the Lord is in this place, surely Surely the presence of the Lord is in this And I can feel His mighty power and His grace Oh, I can hear, oh, I can hear the rush of angel wings, wishing glory on his face. And sure, surely God's presence of the Lord is in the Spirit. 
Sakara mama shete raba baba shete ha. Raba baba baba shete tara baba baba shete ha. Sariri tara baba baba shete ha. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus, wonderful mighty God. I want to greet right now our Reverend and First Lady White, the leaders of Bread of Life Assembly Church. Great leadership that I move under. Hallelujah. Leaders that are 50 years with the Lord. 50 years they are with God. 50 years. Hallelujah. And they never gave up. They never looked back. Hallelujah. What a privilege it is to have such an example in my life. Hallelujah. Um, people that can show me it, it. You can make it with, with God. You can make it with Jesus. Hallelujah. It is... It is really an honor, like someone else said the last time, it is an honor to have such a, a family of, uh, um, sorry, leadership that is, uh, it is, they are an example for me. Hallelujah. I want to greet our pastor, Pastor Scapot. May God bless them. And then I also want to greet every member of the Bread of Life Assembly Church. It doesn't matter where you are, who you are, in which department you are serving. You, it doesn't matter wherever you are serving. Thank you. You are doing God a good job. Hallelujah. I don't know why people, um, I don't know if you are one of them and you are watching me and you are one of those people that want, always wants a thank you for doing the work of God, then I must tell you, you have a problem. All right. You'll find people that if they do a work of for God, hallelujah, then they always want you to say thank you to you. If you serve God, you need to serve God selfless. All right. Me, I don't get a thank you from no one. No one is telling me thank you for preaching. Thank you for, for praying for me. No, 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 no. Yes, maybe thank you for praying for me. But it doesn't go to my head. It doesn't go to my toes, to my stomach. No way. Hallelujah. It doesn't go anywhere. Why? Because it's not about me. It's about Jesus. The person must give thank you to Jesus through me. Hallelujah. And then I find people, they... They, 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 uh, they need a thank you. They need a thank you for doing the work of God. They are in a band, then they want you to say thank you. If you do the work of God, the only thank you you need it is a thank you from God. God must thank you. All right. You don't need any thank you. Sorry. <coughs> Your thank you should be a person that soul comes to Jesus. You should be happy for that. That should be your thank you. You should be grateful. All right. You shouldn't be wanting people to come and thank you for playing so well. Thank you for doing the work of God in the church. Thank you for cleaning the church. No, 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 no. You get people who says, uh, you know what? They didn't even thank you. I'm not going to that church again. If you are such a person, I want to tell you, you are wrong. You are not in the right standing with God. You are a people's pleaser. You actually have an attitude. You are full of pride. You are not even a child of God. All right. You need to get delivered from that. If, if you expect a thank you from people, then you are very low. You need to want the thanks of God. I want someone to say, I need God's thank you. I need the thank you of Jesus. All right. When we serve the Lord Jesus, we are serving selflessly. We are serving unendful. You don't serve because you want someone to thank you. No, 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 no. No. When you serve the Lord Jesus truly with your whole heart and with your soul and with your everything, when you serve the Lord Jesus, let me tell you, you, you are serving without, you don't need anyone's permission to serve God. You don't need anyone's thank you. You don't need it. That's how you need to serve the Lord Jesus. All right. 
You don't need anyone to say thank you to you for praying for me. You need to give the honor and the glory to the Lord Jesus. You must say thank you God that I was able to hold the broom and sweep this church for you. You must in fact you need to say thank you Lord Jesus that I'm able to do something for you. Whether it's an ushering, whether it is uh it doesn't matter what you are doing for God. It doesn't matter whether you are just talking to people about God. You need to tell God thank you for that I'm able to talk. All right? People who who needs a thank you, let me tell you that is very low in the in the spirit. I I don't even I can't even call you a man or a woman of God. If you are going on over a thank you. All right? That means you are not serving God. It means you are serving people. It means you you want people's approval. We do not need the approval of any person. You don't need any person's approval, all right, to serve the Lord Jesus. Once you know you are in the right standing with God, then you don't need a thank you from me, you don't need a thank you from your pastor, you don't need it. And if you are looking for it, I want to tell you are immature and you are childish. That's it. There's no other words for that. and you have a spirit of pride and you need deliverance you need deliverance right so yeah 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 i know i'm coming in with a with a with a sweep here and i'm 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 stepping on people's high uh, toes with my high heels hallelujah 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 all right but we need to we need to to stop uh, messing in the house of god we need to stop messing in the house of god if there's one thing that i don't like since i was a child it's messing people who mess in the house of god i don't like it at all and whatever i can do to prevent it and stop it i will do it i will do it hallelujah i haven't even greet you guys i greet all of you hallelujah those on youtube those on facebook doesn't matter who you are wherever you are watching me from good evening uh, our sister charlene Good evening Sanolik. Uh I hope I'm saying your name right. Good evening Rita. Uh good evening Lydia. Hallelujah. Yes, our sister Charlene says it's so true. Hallelujah. It is true my sister. You need to serve God with with without expecting things from people. All right? It shows your level of of maturity your level in Christ if you expect you know some people uh, uh uh they walk out of the service i'm no more going to play the keyboard i'm no more going to play the drums i'm walking out especially the worshipers of god the the instrument people if they have attitude they can give you attitude for nonsense if i don't get paid i'm not going to play the keyboard to god but they forgot who gave you that talent let me ask you something who gave you the talent to play keyboard that same person who gave you the talent can take your talent away if you don't serve the lord jesus the right way let me tell you god is not he's not a uh, 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 dependent on you god can raise other people that can do his work for him So don't think because you 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 leave the church the church is not paying me a good salary. The guitar person wants 300, the other the, the keyboard person wants 500 a month, the other one wants the worshipper the one singing singing as if God cannot raise another singer as if God cannot take your vocal cords away. I want to tell uh, the, we must stop this nonsense in the house of God. It's plain nonsense. It's nonsense hallelujah there's no such a thing whereby you need a salary from the church those are for the world the world people they go out they go for gigs they go in the club and they get a salary you find people coming into the church and say you know what for me i need a salary my salary even the pastor does not get a salary but the worshipper the keyboard player wants a salary And then those people who want salary they don't even tithe they don't even give to the house of God and then they demand I want a keyboard I want a guitar that have a xxx this number this name ah those people are not saved man they they mess the house of God and that same person they will sleep around in the house of God with the ushers with the 
that same person gets a salary. Why? Because he's not saved. His heart is not pure. He is not in church for Jesus. He's in church for money. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. We must stop this nonsense. No, 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 no. I want to tell someone before you command and before you claim a salary from Jesus, before you want a salary for your voice and for your uh, for your keyboard playing and for your, I, I, I don't know, for your guitar playing and everything, before you want your salary for that, let me tell you, first give Jesus a salary for giving you that talent. Pay Jesus for giving you the talent to play keyboard. Pay Jesus for giving you the talent to sing. Pay him first. No, this is nonsense, man. You know what? I grew up in the house of God. My parents are 50 years serving God. Those are my leaders. And let me tell you, my two eyes have seen so many things in the house of God. The day when God raised me, I came up with such an irritation. And I, I said to God, me, I will clean your house and make sure no nonsense is going to happen in the house of God. It's nonsense. I want someone to type their nonsense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This new kind of fashion, I don't know, I don't know. And it's not nice. God is not happy with this new kind of fashion. Imagine. Imagine you're cooking for the church. You wonder how much to cook. But God gave you the talent. Now you can't even serve him with your substance, with your talent. You can't even give back to him. You want money from the church. It's nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That's nonsense. I want to tell you me. I serve God with everything. I serve him with my finances. I serve him with my car. I serve him with everything. I am employed. I am working. I work four jobs in one. Let me tell you, I don't rest. Ask people that know me. I don't rest. Let me tell you. That is why when I pray, money can come to you. Because God knows I'm a worker. I'm a hard worker. That's why the anointing of finances can flow through me on you. Why? Because I'm a hard worker. All right? I don't ask the gospel nothing. I don't ask, let me tell you, no one buys my dresses. The church doesn't pay me a salary. The data I'm using is my own. I pay my data. The salary I'm taking, I'm working. I'm employed. I'm qualified. I work two, one, two, three, four jobs all in one plus ministry. Let me tell you, there is no such a thing of laziness and full time. No, 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 no. And then you want to come, you leave your job and you come and you play keyboard at night for the church and you want a salary? Ay, 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 ay. That's why I came on early. <laughs> I wish I was on the pulpit. I want you to, to shout nonsense, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we should not tolerate such things in the church. Those people that want salaries from the church are not saved. They are not saved. When you find someone coming to you and say, I want uh, so much for, for one night to play keyboard. I want so much for one night to play uh, a guitar, the drums or whatever, or to sing even. You must, you must chase that person away. That's a Jezebel spirit. That one is going to sleep around with your people in the church. He's not going to obey you. Why? Because his God is money. He's serving mammon. He's not serving God. Hallelujah. But a person who comes and gives you their services out of the goodness for Jesus, such a person, you can know this person is not about, it's not about anyone. It's about Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a person you must work with. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Lord. But tonight, I, 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 that's not my message. Hallelujah. That's just coming from God. It's coming from the Lord Jesus. You don't need a thank you from anyone. No, you don't need, no one needs to come and thank you for doing things. Hallelujah. For, 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 for playing a keyboard, for singing. Hallelujah. There was one time we went on a crusade and afterwards they told me, uh, the band is saying, let me tell you, the band is an apostle. In the band, it's an apostle playing the keyboard. 
The band is an apostle. All right. The worshiper is a prophetess. Okay. The, the keyboard player, they, are all, they all have ranks in the spirit. And the message I got afterwards was, uh, we did not th say thank you. Ah, I was shocked. <laughs> I'm like, what? We did not say thank you? Like, are you guys serving Jesus or who are you serving? And let me tell you, the time when they did, when they were helping us, the time when they practiced, they could sing normally. The time when I went on the pulpit, they all manifested. They could not even sing, but they want to thank you. Must I, th must I say thank you for manifesting? They have to say thank you for Jesus for delivering them. All right. They could not even play the keyboard, but they want to thank you. That is why I'm saying if you if you hear some people they and you hear such things you must know this person there's no god in that person that person's spiritual level is not even at the level of where you expect it to be i want to say the level of a prophetess or at the level of an apostle because if you are at the level of an apostle you need to serve god selfless you don't expect and thank you from no one. God must thank you. You need to thank the Lord endlessly. Ha 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 ha. Hey, I like my high heels, high heels. I want someone to maybe put a high heel there. <laughs> I want to tell you the things we see in ministry, it's not easy, it's weird. Right, but lucky for me, I grew up in church, so I'm used to it. I'm used to seeing things like this nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. I'm seeing it's nonsense, nonsense. I've seen it, seen it since I was a child, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can mess in the house of God, but I want to tell you, we are still in the season, we are still in the season of fear of the Lord. We are in the season of the fear of the Lord. I want someone to say the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. The fear of the Lord. And I want us to turn our Bibles to the book of Isaiah 11. That's a bonita. That's a put that high heels there. I'm stepping on someone's toes with my high heels. I can't show you my high heels now, but I'm wearing them. I'm having them on. They are here. They are on my feet. I wish I could show you. I have them. They are here. Hallelujah. They are on my feet. I'm stepping on someone's toes with my high heels. Hallelujah. And it's, it hurts much better, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible said a rebuke. It's much better than a compliment. All right. And as we are in the year of, 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 um, of chokmah, chokmah, chokmah. A rebuke is better. It's better to be rebuked, says the book of Proverbs, to, to get a rebuke than a compliment. All right? Because a rebuke can make you a strong person. Ratatatatata. So we are moving in a season of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. The fear of God. In our book of Isaiah 11, it says that, And there shall come forth a rod out of stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him and the spirit of wisdom hi yeah 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 yes Sandra Sandra is saying those high heels yes 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 my high heels I'm wearing them hallelujah hallelujah um the Bible said, the spirit of the Lord rests upon him. All right? The spirit of wisdom. Do you see? The spirit of chokhmah. Wisdom comes from God. It is the spirit of wisdom that will rest upon him. Okay? And then it says, furthermore, the spirit of understanding. The spirit of wisdom 
and the spirit of understanding. And then it goes further and it says, I'm jumping a few uh, verses there. And it says the spirit of knowledge, everything that you guys have learned so far. All right. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit, what spirit am I talking about? I'm talking about the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit that Jesus left in the book of John. In the book of John, you can go read about Jesus went and he said, I'm leaving you the comforter. Sorry, which is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So the Bible said the time when Jesus was born, Sorry, <coughs> the time when Jesus was born, right? Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah prophesied and he said, there shall come a stem of Jesse. Right? This is about, he's prophesying about Jesus. He's saying there shall come a stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. This is Jesus. He's prophesying about the birth of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right? And the Spirit of the Lord, that is the Holy Spirit, shall rest upon him. Right? The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And the Spirit of wisdom. So before Jesus was born, right? Wisdom came upon him. God equipped the Lord Jesus with wisdom. Right? He was equipped with wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding. He was also equipped with the spirit of knowledge. You see? So understanding wisdom, knowledge does not come from a person. It doesn't come from me. It comes from God. All right? That's why everybody doesn't have wisdom. That's why everybody, they don't move in wisdom. That's why everybody doesn't have knowledge. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> everybody doesn't have understanding. Because it is something that you must require from God. You need to ask God for it. God must give it to you. All right. If you find yourself in a certain circumstances or in a certain, I want to say, crossroad, or if you find yourself in a certain uh, predicament where you don't know what to do, what, what do we do all the time? Or what is the fashion? I think my sermon tonight is the fashion <laughs> and not the fear of the Lord. All right. The fear of the Lord aka the fashion hallelujah so the fashion today is when someone finds themselves in a certain problem in a certain uh, crossroad then what do they do they go to a prophet they look for a prophet am i right yeah, they look for a prophet. The prophet needs to tell me what must I do next. Must I put on my, my shirt or must I put on a jacket? Hi, <laughs> guys. Come, 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 come. Don't be shy. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. The prophet must say, must I now go to the toilet or must I go tomorrow to the toilet? People are people are, are, are worse. I'm telling you, there are people that are that are doing these things. It is a fashion. Someone say a fashion. It's fashion. You know, they cannot. They don't have their own. They don't have something. They don't know what to do. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. We are here to rectify. Right. That is why you guys are here. We are here to rectify. We are here to set things right in the spirit. Hallelujah. That is why some people, they feel helpless these days. They feel like, 
uh, because of this uh, uh, fashion demon, it's a demon. It possesses people to the point where some people, they cannot even make their own decisions if they need to go to the bathroom, if they need to go to the toilet, if they need to, you know, it's a, it, is, it is very bad. And there are some of you also doing that. You can't do anything. They get people, let me tell you, you get men of God, women of God that can't, you, especially the men. Sorry, men, but, but I know. Especially the men of God. They can't make a decision on who to get married to. That is why you find they sleep around in the church. It's a demon because they wait on someone to tell them, prophet must tell me, I need to see prophet, prophet needs to tell me, I need to go to prophet. And let me tell you, who do they find? They find a Sangoma who calls himself a prophet. Why does God allow you to then find the wrong one? It is because you don't dig into the word of God and see and listen and hear. Remember we said we need to listen. We need to hear. We need to understand. All right. You don't dig into the Bible and then God can tell you what to do. All right. Let me say, I'm not saying that you should not follow a prophet or a man or a woman of God. We are there. God has placed us there to help and assist you, but also to teach you, all right? I always say this, and this is my, my thing. I always say this, that you are going to stand before God alone, not me. I won't be there. You can't go and tell the Lord Jesus, Father, I have served Sister Jess. I followed her every day. No, 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 no. God is going to ask you, what did you do with my soul? Did you serve me? God is not going to say, oh yes, you follow Sister Jess, come into heaven. No, 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 no. God, you is going to, you are responsible for your own life. You need to know Jesus for yourself. And wow, selfish am I if I do not take you to the Lord Jesus and teach you how to serve God for yourself. Isn't it? It's selfishness. All right. I'm not going to be there. That day when I go to, to God myself, I need to go stand there for myself. God is going to ask me the anointing I gave you. Why did you not cheat, teach my people? I need to have a responsibility on my own for the anointing that I carry. I need to go and, and tell God what did I do with the anointing he gave me. But you, when are you? <laughs> You're going to have to go and tell God what did you do with his soul. Hallelujah. Did you serve him? Did you honor him? Did you run around from prophet to prophet to prophet? <laughs> you know, I love the Lord Jesus. Jesus doesn't allow people to mock him. All right. He doesn't allow that. When God sees there is a mess in the house of God, then he raise up someone inside the house of God. If that can step on people's toes, you know. That is why this year is called the year of wisdom. Whatsoever you approach in this year, and that is my prayer, that you must first have knowledge what is going on. You must not just run and run. And ladies like that, ladies, let me tell you, wherever there is uh, niceness and specialness, ladies, they are there. They don't care. They just run, run. A man will still sit and think and wait and watch and see. But a woman, hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. If it's if it's if there's music and the drums, it's nice. Then I'm there. No matter if it's if it's uh, witchcraft, no matter if it's demons, no matter. I'm there. It's fun. It's nice time. Ah, rah, 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 rah. I'm telling you, the right people is not here tonight. They will watch later on. The people I'm talking about. <laughs> Lydia is saying I'm too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lydia, my God is too much. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus is too much tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is something called the spirit of wisdom. And we lack the spirit of wisdom. And I'm sure no one of you knew, even knew there's such a scripture like this. 
I think no one of you, you guys even know. All you do is I want healing. All you do is I want deliverance. All you do. But now let me tell you, you got your healing, you got your deliverance, you got your salvation, you are serving God. Now what? What's next? Nothing. Then you are bored. When you have to make sound decisions, you cannot. You're not able to do it. I know. You, you, you cannot make wise decisions on things like business, on things like should I marry this guy or not. Like a sound decision. Should I follow a man of God? That, like, that is why people are following false prophets, false apostles, false men of God. They lack the spirit of wisdom. They have no wisdom. Hallelujah. They just go and they just run and they just go with the crowd and they just go with the niceness and they just go wherever there's a beat and where there's a step and where I can look nice, where there's nice guys, where there's nice, hey, 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 hey where there's boys and <laughs> hey, where there's girls, what else, what else? <laughs> No wisdom, no whatsoever wisdom, nothing. There's no wisdom. They just run, 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 run. They follow the wrong messages. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, my children, they are perishing. It is a cry from the heart of God. They are perishing. Why? Because of knowledge, a lack of knowledge, a lack of understanding, a lack of knowledge, a wisdom. Wisdom is not present. If you have to, if you have to ponder on things and you have to sit and you have to plan, that is why everything does not need prayer. Everything does not need a rabba shaba. Everything doesn't need a hand of God. Every deliverance is not a rabba shaba. Every deliverance, no, 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 no. Some deliverances, you just need counseling. Some deliverance, you just need to sit down and figure out what must I do next. That's all. Then you get delivered. You get out of your problem. Some of your guys' problem is you are just running. There's no wisdom. There's no knowledge. There's no understanding. We just want to speak in tongues. We just want to pray. But we forget we need knowledge. We need wisdom. The Bible says, And the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And tonight I want to pray that the spirit of the fear of God, and I'm ending my message, must come over you guys. The spirit of the fear of the Lord must come over you. Hallelujah. What is it to fear God? What is it to fear God? People are scared of demons. People are scared of, of sicknesses. I don't want cancer. I don't want, I don't, you are, they are scared of certain things, but they are not scared of God. Right? They are not scared of God. And yeah, be, before Jesus was born, you know Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, he was born how many, six or seven hundred years before Jesus was born. A lot of years before Jesus was born. Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah prophesied and he said, this child that's going to come from the root of Jesse, right? He said, this child, when he comes, he's going to have the, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Meaning the time when Jesus was born, he walked on the earth under the fear of God. Jesus didn't he was not afraid of Pharaoh. He was uh, sorry, Pi, Pi, uh, Pontus Pilate. He was not afraid of the cross. He was not afraid to hang on the cross. He was not afraid to die. He was afraid of God. And because he feared God, he was able to move anywhere. Jesus did not fear the, 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 the authorities. 
He didn't fear them. He went into the temple. He rubbed all those things out of the temple. He was not scared of them. He went inside to the house of God. They were busy selling things in the temple, in the church. They were having stalls. They were selling things inside the house. They were doing the house, making the house of God a house of, 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 of business. Selling things. And Jesus went in there and he took it out. He rubbed it out. Hallelujah. He threw it out. The way I did when I, when I started now today. <laughs> All right. Jesus came, he rubbed it out. Hallelujah. He wasn't scared of them. No, 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 no. Because he was born. The day he was born, he already had the spirit. A spirit of the fear of the Lord. That's why he could conquer any, any issue that come to him. Any challenge that came to him, he was not afraid. Today we are afraid of demons. We are afraid of sickness. Why? Why do we fear? Why do we shake? It is because we don't have the fear of the Lord. We are not fearing God. We are not afraid of the Lord. We think the Lord Jesus is just uh, a sweet God and the demon, the devil is uh, he's the man. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's not the man. You know what happened one time? Jesus said they were asking him. They were, take, they were attacking him on the word of God. The devil went. Jesus was in fasting 40 days or more than 40 days in the, in the wilderness. And the devil came and said to him, Uh... You can turn this into bread. Turn the stones into bread. Jesus did not fear him. Jesus was not afraid of him. Jesus gave him scripture. He gave him scripture. He was not afraid of the devil. Today we are afraid of the devil. We fear the devil. That's why the devil can just do with you one, two, three, whatever he wants to do. Because we are afraid of him. We don't fear the Lord Jesus. When it comes to the Lord Jesus, and I'm going to do a part two on this, all right? I'll do a part two on this one. When it comes to the fear of the Lord Jesus, right? It means that you need to be afraid of God more than anyone. You need to be afraid of God more than anyone. I gave you scripture last time. That scripture that says, it says that don't fear the one that can kill the flesh. Fear the one that can kill your flesh and your soul. Hallelujah. All right. If you fear God, if you have a fear of God, then you won't run away from demons. Then you are able to stand. David stood before Goliath. Goliath was big. Goliath was huge. Goliath was like this, this, the man. He came with a spear. He came with a whole outfit. And then David says, I come to you in the name of the Lord. David had the fear of God. David was not afraid for that spear, that big stature. He was not afraid of that big man. Ha, no, 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 no. David said, hey, you, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He moved in no fear. David moved in no fear. I want someone to say no fear. He moved in no fear. Hallelujah. He, David fought, if you read the book uh, uh, of Samuel, da David fought against uh, uh, bears. He fought a bear, a, a bear that is alive, a living bear. All right. He fight with it. He fought against the lion. He killed it. Hallelujah. And I want you to stop having fear. Stop being afraid for that person that shouts at you every day at work. Ah, you are a child of God. You need to rise up like a David. 
stop being scared for that that person that is forever coming to 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 what you call it uh you get those irritating people right that always comes whenever they see you they just want to come and 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 uh irritate your life stop being afraid of such a person rise in your spirit all right you must have the attitude of i don't fear you i fear god hallelujah mighty jesus all right i fear the lord i'm not afraid of you stop being afraid of people that are writing nonsense about you on facebook that are looking at you as some people that are looking down at you you are not let me tell you you are not that kind of person that they think you are but what is your problem let me ask you by now you should know what is your problem your problem is you you are afraid of people you don't have the spirit of the fear of the lord that is why you can just uh, uh, uh when someone is saying ah look at her then you feel inferior you feel small la catastera no 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 this must end yeah 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 it needs to stop people and another ugly auntie with with a uh, sore clothes and a uh, 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 gown and the cigarette that is almost half dead all right she comes and she walk over to you and then every day you 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 and then she shouts you and then you feel bad huh what's wrong with you you are lacking the fear of god you are afraid of that lady you are afraid to put on a nice dress because what is people going to say you are afraid to help your husband because what are people going to say hama cross maliando i'm talking to someone i'm talking to someone you are afraid of of nonsense <laughs> Yeah, you lack the spirit of the Lord. You need the sorry, you need the spirit of the fear of God. The time when the disciples came to Jesus, salaba crosia. When they came to Jesus and I'm ending off my words right now, I will do a part 2 as well. Um yeah, there will be a part 2 as God leads. Um the disciples came to Jesus and they asked the Lord Jesus. They say to Jesus, uh so why you are not eating and jesus said to them my meat is to do the work of the father all right let me tell you you are afraid of someone that are attacking your spiritual life you are afraid of people and and demons it's demons working through them you are afraid of a spirit walking in your house you are afraid of 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 uh, a sickness that can kill you those are all demons you should have the fear of jesus you must fear god only i hope someone is understanding me and i hope someone is hearing me nicely all right you have put yourself back and you think you can make it you think you can't go somewhere you think you will never be able to make it why because you have uh you have a certain fear you are scared you are scared of 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 people of of nonsense people people that tell you ah you will never make it in remember people that says i you will never make it people that says ah 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 look at her she's so she's so small look at her father was like this her mother was like this how can she make it how can she become a boss how can she be a manager let me tell you tonight children of the lord jesus let me tell you you will never be able to kill Gol- goliath <coughs> i'm sorry you will never be able to kill goliath if you don't have the fear of god goliath is going to kill you you're going to stay where you are you're going to sit where you are sitting you're never going to rise in life 
you will never rise in life you will be as you are you will be that small person that you are that that shy person that scared person you will be why because you have no fear of the lord and tonight i want to pray that the fear of god must come in you to the point whereby if you find that demons are rising against you evil evil practices uh people that are coming together to together together to to shunder your name to make your name bad that moment in time you need to rise in the spirit and don't not quen down not uh, disappear that's the moment you have to rise up and fight against them in the spirit through the fear of the lord some of you you know what you got you know what you have in jesus you know i am a good person you know i am not what they say i am but still because of your lack of fear of the lord that is why people are they can turn on you and turn on you and turn on you and you can never rise because the time when you saw goliath hey the moment that you saw goliath you ran away <laughs> you could not stand like david I want you to type there. I need to stand like David. You know why David fought the the the, the bear and he fought the the lion? It was because he was a shepherd. He protected David protected the the, the sheep. The lion wanted to come and and grab and eat the sheep and David was killing them. Not God, David. <laughs> But what what was on what was resting on David it was the spirit of the fear of God Hallelujah that Goliath let me tell you that Goliath looking at you every day rising up and coming to you every day You know what Goliath came to the Philistines he came to Saul and he called out every day Saul bring he want another man and then he mocked Saul until David came and David said give him to me I'm not going to walk to him with no spear no javelin I am going to him in the name of the Lord Hallelujah Hey 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 okay guys I can stay here all night with you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. All right. The message for tonight is very clear. You need to stop quenching away, stop being afraid. I'm going to pray for God that the spirit of fear must come upon you. The spirit of fear of the Lord must come upon you. It will help you to conquer many fears that you have. many fears that you have all right hallelujah i want you to say the spirit of the fear of the lord will help me to conquer many fears many fears that i have all right if you're afraid of walking afraid of running afraid of you know there's some people they 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 need to do something but they are afraid to do it that is not from god la 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 yeah. it's not from god but let me tell you once you fear jesus then you won't fear anything else you won't be afraid of anything hi ya 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 father i pray in the name of jesus if these are your children i pray right now in the mighty name of jesus I command the spirit of the fear of the Lord to come upon them to rest upon them in the name of Jesus so they can fight any Goliath that are rising up against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus I pray it is done it is done Lydia God is showing me right now there is a pain in your foot by your leg all right Lydia 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 I'm praying for you and I pray in the name of Jesus and then Lydia God is showing me around your head there's a lot of fogginess fogginess like you're not thinking clearly 
it's like you are you are confused all right you have such certain confusion all right let me tell you the spirit of wisdom shall come on you and no more confusion you are able you will be able i'm speaking to lydia this is for lydia only right this is a personal prophecy for lydia lydia and the fogginess that's around you hallelujah i need to go i'm not going to prophesy to people tonight i'm not prophesying to you guys tonight no 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 <laughs> i pray for you lydia may the spirit of god of wisdom rest upon you in the name of jesus let all fogginess leave you right now in jesus name it is done it is done it is done it is done <laughs> sandra is asking why sandra i'm using knowledge i'm using wisdom <laughs> I'm using wisdom, right? Hallelujah. So I'm mainly saying the spirit of the Lord help me to conquer. That's it. The spirit of the fear of God. It will help you to get a job. The spirit of the fear of God will help you to be promoted. The spirit of the fear of God. Hi, 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 hi. God was showing me before I came on to the live. God was showing me there is someone your hand is a problem. There is someone your child. All right. Uh, let me see your child before you came on your child was shouting at you it's a mother your child was shouting at you right um and god was showing me a leg problem a knee problem hallelujah wonderful jesus if you are here i'm praying for you i will pray for those prophecies uh for those people all right father in the name of jesus heal every disease and sickness whether it's a leg whether it's an arm it doesn't matter a ear i speak healing in the name of jesus and then god was uh was showing me a hand hand that are getting healed a hand that are getting healed someone is saying please pray for me generational curse in my family father in the name of jesus i break every generational curse right now out in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus spirit of death leave this family right now in jesus name poverty go out in jesus name it is done it is done it is done um movin is saying prophesy prophet <laughs> Charmaine is saying prophesy please i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to um there's a reason why i don't want to hallelujah um there's a reason i don't know god was just flowing on lydia 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 all right and then i need i had to stop because why um i'm using knowledge i'm using knowledge i'm using understanding i think maybe god wants you guys to go and ponder on the word of god and not depend on prophecy hallelujah not depend on prophecy okay that is why i was stopped by the spirit of god all right i wanted to shoot 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 and then i remember what god told me before i came on he told me something that's why i had to stop guys that's why i was stopping god was reminding me he said to me something before i came on all right and like i said i only come on to do what god tells me to do all right so lydia you are blessed you are favored by god hallelujah for me to give you the prophecy i pray for someone whose legs are paining in the name of jesus i pray for someone i heal right now every foot ache every ache on your foot in the name of jesus movina is saying pray for my son there's a neck wound operation was first cancelled and now wants to operate again in the name of jesus every wound i command you to go and never return it is nan movin come and testify shamain is saying shamain you see i just want to prophesy shamain i'm going i'm going guys place for my grandson his name is dalan father in the name of jesus i pray for dalan right now may god touch his life in the name of jesus and protect him it is done shamain god is showing me there's issues with neighbors neighbors like neighbors next to you staying next to you hallelujah and then god is showing me i'm seeing a ring uh, shamain i'm seeing a ring a ring katriona you are late 
I'm on my way out. Catriona God is showing me there's a car problem. Car problem. I don't know if it's a bucky. It looks more like a bucky or something. Um, and I want you guys to be fast, all right? I want you all to be fast. If I speak to you, please be fast. I need to leave. Otherwise, I'm just leaving. Sanolik is saying, please pray for my son. Sanolik, are you working? Um, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for Sanolik's son. Uh, Shay, what? Shagan. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch Shagan's life. In the name of Jesus. Movina is saying, please pray for my son. Okay, that one I've seen. I've prayed for it. Um, Charlene, is Sister Charlene is saying, prophetess, pray for me and my baby my baby and family and spiritual life father in the name of jesus touch your daughter right now it is done it is done it is done um sanalik amen prophetess hallelujah so the people have prophesied to are out they are tired i don't know you understand that's why god was saying, <laughs> that's why god was saying don't prophesy right people are out they are gone they are not answering it's either they are out by the spirit or out by the network. I don't know. <laughs> Dino is saying, please pray for my life. Um, ish, 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 ish. Katriona, Katriona. Katriona is saying, we don't have a car anymore. We were, uh, we were in an accident. Sorry to hear that. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Katriona. I pray right now, may you bring to her a new car transportation and heal her family in the name of jesus and bring them together i speak healing in that household it is done katriona it is done um yes i'm walking sis father in the name of jesus i pray for your daughter uh Sinulik. I pray right now, may you touch her life in the name of Jesus. Intervene in our workplace. It is done. Pray for brother's daughter. She gets fits. Father, I rebuke fits in the name of Jesus. Out in Jesus' name. I'm not sure, Sister Jess. I'm not at my home. I'm staying at work. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the neighbors of Charmaine. I pray may you intervene in their life right now. Destroy evil powers fighting and bring peace. <laughs> oh, Movina, don't forget my handbag. <laughs> yes, Movina, yes, 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 yes. I don't want to pray for money tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm joking. I'll always pray for money. All right? Always, always, always. I'll never stop praying for money, no matter who likes it or don't like it. All right? Always, always. Okay? Uh, Rita is saying, pray for my family. It is done, Rita. I'm praying for your family. May God intervene and may God deliver your family. Uh, Rita. Hallelujah. Uh, Rita, I want to tell you something. Do not allow, Rita, do not allow the devil to talk to you in your ear. All right? I want you, Rita, to use wisdom. Use wisdom. Okay? Use wisdom. Don't run around from one to other to another to another to another. Okay? Rita. That's why some of you, you get disappointed and hurt in the church. Because you lack wisdom. You're just running, running where it's nice. You need stability, Rita. Don't just run, run, run where it's nice. Okay? I'm talking to you, Rita. I'm giving you some advice and some counseling. Uh, Sinalik, pray for my finances. I'm, I'm about to do that, Sinalik. Before I go off, uh, Movina, Movina, it's it's my specialty, right? I will not go off unless I have prayed for your finances and for jobs, all right? And Ladia is saying, I take it full bag. <laughs> I always laugh for that one because it's the fifteen rand testimony that was that that is is is. Yeah, yeah, Lydia, you can choose, ne? 
Kirsten says I need to pray for the world for the brother's daughter. All right, she gets fats. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every fat. In the name of Jesus, let it go and never return. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lydia, you can choose. You want the big bag or the small bag, right? Yeah, you can choose. You can choose which one you want. Okay? You can decide. Do you want the overflow of Jesus? Do you want him to overflow? Peter, Peter only knew Jesus when he was by the fact that Jesus was multiplying. Peter knew Jesus when he was as a provider. He didn't knew Jesus when Jesus was just standing there by the by the shore and looking at him and speaking to him. <laughs> yes, Lydia, big one, big one. I also want the big one. Hallelujah. Peter knew Jesus as a provider. The time when Jesus said to him, throw your net on the other side. Then Peter says, that is the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. We need to know Jesus like that. If, if you don't know him like that, then I feel sorry for you. All right. If you only know him as he doesn't provide for you, or you only know him as uh, he's just God that cast out demons, it's okay. Then, it, then it's fine. Then you can know him like that. Hallelujah. But me, I know the Lord Jesus. He can provide for you. He can make someone to come and bless you. He can make, the devil can make someone to stop your finances. The devil can give you a sickness that will take all your finances. You buy medicine, 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 medicine. All right. The devil can give you, he can send someone. To, to not give you money, all right? The devil can attack your finances via alcohol. You buy alcohol, you buy uh, cigarettes. Those are all attacks on your finances. It's demons. But Jesus came and he said, put your net on the other side. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for providing for me. That's it, Sinolik. Um, and my family. Yes, Jesus is a provider. The time when God created the earth, he first provided for you. He, bought, he, he made an earth which was a house. It is like a house. It is a dwelling place. Before he put people, before he put animals, there was, an, there was first a house. There was first a dwelling place. The earth came first. Hallelujah. And then he, God made food. Food that provided for you to eat and then he made the animal and then he made the animal the meat God first made the herbs the plants and then he made the meat go and read in Genesis 1 that means God is a provider before he made you he first there was first food there was a house there was a place to stay there was a dwelling place there was meat <laughs> meat I want you to say there was meat there was meat ne? And now where's your meat? Where's your herbs? Nothing. The cupboards are empty. Ah, who's doing that? Not God. It's the devil. God must provide for you. All right? He says in Psalms, you will lack nothing. You, I am your shepherd. You will lack nothing. Hallelujah. Father, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, get your bag it is just a point of contact, right? Get your documents, get your ID, passport, get your uh, CV, get your job application, get your tender, get your documents, get your bank card, anything that you can use as a point of contact, whether you draw it on a paper, whether you take a paper and draw a house, draw a car, it doesn't matter, all right? You you do it in 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 is a prophetic act okay it's a prophetic act that's why i'm holding the bag it's an act of 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 prophecy all right we are prophesying father in the name of jesus are you guys ready can i pray can i pray can i pray more vina are you ready are you ready <laughs> who is ready Um, 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 next time I will bring the small bag for the small pe for the people that wants 15 rand bread 
and then someone told me at ShopRite you can even buy three breads of a 15 rand you can buy because the bread is five rand in South Africa so they say you can you can actually get three loaves of bread for 15 rand <laughs> Charmaine is saying she's ready. Lydia is saying she's ready. Sister Charlene is saying she's ready. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. May you open up financial doors for your people. May money come to them. May, may they get finances in the name of Jesus, in their handbags, in the couches in the clothing let money appear to them in their bank accounts airtime data let it appear electricity on the box petrol in the car diesel in the truck diesel in the car let it appear to them in the name of jesus i pray right now let money locate them wherever they go in the name of jesus father i pray open up tenders businesses contracts to their emails to their phone number let it come to them in the name of jesus may they prosper like never before these are your children arise for them in the name of jesus I decree and declare right now, let every debt be cancelled. I cancel your debt in Jesus' name. I write it off in the name of Jesus. They won't find your name on the system. Your name won't be there. They won't find it in the name of Jesus. I pray right now, finances to open a business, to start a career. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for a job and better jobs. I pray for clothes, new clothes, new shoes. I pray right now for furniture. I pray may God provide you furniture, clothes, shoes, uh, uh, food in your cupboards. In the name of Jesus, may God fill your cupboards with food. In Jesus' name, Father, provide for your people. Angels, right now, locate them. I pray for cars. I pray for houses. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. I place my hand on their CV, wherever it shall go, let there be favor, may they get that job, may they get that promotion, in the name of Jesus, it is done, it is done, it is done, it is done, I want you guys to come back and testify, we heard so many wonderful testimonies, wonderful testimonies how god is working working wonders hallelujah things are happening people are testifying people the lame are walking all right the the, the lame are walking out of the out of the wheelchairs all right i glorify jesus and i thank the lord jesus for doing miracle signs and wonders hallelujah so Soon, 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 we will be crossing borders. Hallelujah. Soon we will be crossing borders. We're going to bless the nation of Namibia. Hallelujah. And I am looking forward to go and bless the nation of Namibia. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For those that want to partake in this journey, in the Harvest Time Crusade, all right? Also, I will be doing the Harvest Time Crusade the same time as well in Claymont headquarters. For those that are waiting, please get ready. There is a crusade coming up in Claymont headquarters um, in a month's time. Watch out uh, for the events. I will be there. I want to pray for you. I want to deliver you. I want God to touch you. I want God to bless you and heal you. I know the lame will walk. I know legs will grow. I know Jesus is about to do it. Hallelujah. Ataraba Seteha. All right. I let me not start another service now. But I want those of you that want to be a part of our our crusades and our outreach services all right where we are going if you want to sow a seed or donate something to the work of god for us going all right please feel free to do so okay for our accommodation for our venue for our um 
transportation for going there to bless the nation of namibia hallelujah and you are watching me and you want me to come to your nation because my god is touching nations all right if you want me to come into your nation speak to pa speak to the ushers give us send us a message on the bread of life assembly the website okay and speak to us and then we can see what we can do hallelujah i want you guys that want to be a part and sow a seed or a donation it doesn't matter someone said the last time prophetess i want to be the one who makes your food for you when you travel i said by all means but i don't know about the food right <laughs> okay by all means if god has placed it on your heart my sister right to do my food for me when i'm traveling let it be so hallelujah let it be so if you want to sow and you feel like you want to ask us what you should give all right come to us talk to us uh there is many things that you can help us with uh we need to do ad uh, advertising we need to do so many things that that entails a crusade and if you want to be a part of it talk to us if you want to buy us a camera you can buy it come in and hear what do we need and as and you can assist in that way you don't have to give money you can pay yourself you can pay it yourself for us we would love that as well all right anything anyway how god prompts you and please please i beg you all of you do not give if god did not tell you to give don't give the bible said you must be a cheerful giver there's a reason when you, when god says don't give it's a reason why god says that don't give if you don't feel like giving don't give when you want feel like giving you give all right and there's no amount you can give any amount you if you are in headquarters claimant you can also just go to the church leaders or any branch leader that is in our branches and you can give to them ask them how you can give or alternatively just go on our website the bread of life assembly.com all right and on the website you can get in touch with us put up your your contact details and we can get in touch with you all right the media team they will they will speak to you okay for those that's already partnering i am praying for every partner every wednesday every wednesday all right i'm not I'm, i don't even have to do it because god blesses those that blesses him all right when you give it between you and god i have nothing to do about it but i still go out of my way to pray for you all right i i still do it out of the love of of the goodness of my heart so every wednesday whether i don't broadcast it or broadcast it i still pray for the partners for partners of the bread of life assembly church all right i pray for your finances i pray for your family i lay before god for you all right it's only for those that are, are taking the gospel forward with me all right by finances unfortunately um we need finances to go around and god is blessing us so that we can bless others and others can hear the work of god hallelujah if you have family in namibia let them know we're going to be in namibia in a month's time and jesus is about to touch someone jesus is about to deliver someone legs will grow out wheelchairs people will walk out of wheelchairs people will get delivered hallelujah people will be set free halala sata tata tata ta. i love all of you guys right now stay blessed and wait for part 2 I'm about to do part 2 soon as God leads me and let I love you a lot and shalom